So uh, today, I would like to talk about um, different aspects of cybersecurity. You had a lot of technologies in previous sections about clouds, uh, cloud security, um, AI, EDR, and, and such. So um, instead, of in, um, instead of technology, there's two more things equally important when you talk about cybersecurity. What is it? People and process. It's really important when we talk about cybersecurity. Uh, let, let me share some insights about what happening um, we are seeing in, in the cyber world. Um, first, uh, we are seeing a lot of uh, attacks out there, and actually it's becoming more organized. Um, you've heard of a uh, hacking group like uh, Anonymous, Cozy Beer, Fancy Beer, even though the name is very cute, but they are not cute. They are a very bad guy. And those ha hacker group, the people inside is highly skilled. They have a uh, very strong tech lead in different domain. They can identify through their uh, vulnerabilities. They can create malware. And once you are targeted, basically they don't use single uh, vector to attack you. They use multi-vector. They will deliver malware for email, for web, and using phishing attack, targeting the end user uh, via social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, and etc. And second is about the cloud. Of course, uh, everyone is talking about cloud today. Uh, we are moving a lot of application to cloud, especially uh, during the pandemic, uh, because we want to um, continue our business. We leverage cloud technology to provide service to our customer and also our internal staff. So when we're moving a lot of application to cloud, today our uh, enterprise environment is hyper-distributed. Data everywhere. We have data in the cloud application. We have data in the uh, SaaS. We have data in the endpoint. Think about in the past, when we talk about uh, endpoint, every endpoint is inside our data, uh, enterprise network. So they have their protections uh, with the firewall, IPS, web security gateway. But today, most of the people work outside the office. They're using the um, home board bank or the mobile network to accessing the service. And eventually, they have the data, very like a sensitive data, within their endpoint. So that's why they are being targeted. One of the um, attacks that we see a lot um, since uh, 2019 is ransomware. Um, but today, the ransomware attack is actually evolving. Um, when we first heard about ransomware, I believe um, one of the famous ones is WannaCry. It creates a huge impact. A lot of customer, their system, their data is being encrypted. We have to pay the ransom to decrypt our data. But today, the ransomware changed the way they, they, they ransom our, our customer. They're not encrypting the data. They're exfiltrating the data. So even though you have a good backup, your data is like that, end game. So that's why uh, we are seeing a lot of uh, incidents uh, recently talking about double extortion, uh, triple extortion. The hacker using data to ransom the enterprise. They have no way um, to say no for the ransom. So this is a very um, critical um, situation we are seeing today. Another one is mobile malware. Mobile malware attack, um, if you see the news, the uh, HK01, every single week, they publish a list of mobile malware identified by different security vendors. They are all available in the official app store from Google Pay, from Apple App Store. Think about your people when they download the malicious app, what happened? The malicious app by design, they can capture the data within your app mobile devices your content, your email, your calendar. If some of the malware even able to turn on the microphone to record what you're saying at the time, and even some of them turn on the camera to recording your activities. And last but not least is the new attack uh, we are seeing targeting the IOTs. A lot of companies start implementing IOT. A lot of sensor within the environment I'm not talking about the IP cam or the uh, IP phone. It's actually a lot of companies start using IoT devices to create business value. 
like logistic, they deploy sensor into their um, into their trunk uh, so that the monitoring, um, the delivery, the locations, identify the faster route so that they can provide better user experience. And actually, more than that, uh, like last year, Sorin supply chain attack, like a lot of people get panicked. Uh, when they heard about the supply chain attack from Sorin, right? Because a lot of enterprise using Sorin to monitoring their critical system. And this is not the only uh, supply chain attack. And actually, uh, early this year, there's two more. One is the uh, Kasaya, which is the IT management platform. Um, the hacker make use of the uh, platform vulnerabilities to um, ransomware, to ransom the customer who is using the Kasai platform. Another one called Kokov. Kokov is a Kokov uh, solutions. You help the customer to scan their code. But eventually, when the customer upload to the code to the Kokov, there's another copy upload to the hacker. This is another um, typical supply chain attack. So that's why if you look at, if you have chance to look at the um, World Economic Forum, um, last couple of years, if you look at the top five uh, global weeks. Technologies come on the list. Why? Because today our business is heavily reliant on technologies. We invest a lot. Uh, you invest on cloud, you invest on the network, you invest on the applications. The impact is huge when happen, when bad things happen. Um, let me share one of the uh, experiences that just happened like, on this Monday. In, the, in our office, uh, Checkpoint Hong Kong is a regional office. We, we are the sales office. We don't have application within our network. Everything we access to the application through the internet. Unfortunately, in the Monday morning, our DNS server gets some issue. People cannot get access to the internet. A lot of complaining to me and asking me to fix the internet. But thanks God. I asked them to use a mobile hotspot. It saved my life. Otherwise, I would get killed because I spent a whole day to fix the DNS server, to get the internet resumed. But look at your infrastructure. You have more than just internet. You have your application. You have your database. If you get hacked, it, what happened? The impact is very huge. So a comprehensive uh, cybersecurity, uh, there's three things we need to consider. First, technology, of course, we need to implement solutions to protect our environment. There's a lot of technology out there. Companies invest millions of money to protect their environment. But there's another two factors we need to consider as well, people and process. I believe everyone understands why people is important. Because when you're hiring people, you find it very difficult today, right? You, you have a very difficulty to find a good talent. This is not the Hong Kong problem. It's actually worldwide. We are facing uh, talent shortage globally. And second is the process. It's very important uh, when incidents happen, how we respond to the incident. The quicker we respond, the lesser damage we are having. So this is the reason why we need to have a very comprehensive response plan when incidents happen. So before I talk about the people and process, let me share something that uh, what Checkpoint is doing today. Uh, we started the business 27 years ago, uh, starting with firewall, and we're adding a lot of uh, enhancement to the firewall. Um, but today, uh, early this year, we have a sales kick off. Our CEO announced that we, we are now having over 80 X0 security solutions across the board including language security, cloud, mobile, IoT, email. So if you look at the cybersecurity vendor out there, uh, I can say Checkpoint provide the enterprise widest visibility across every single component in your environment. But one thing is very important is always, uh, we always talk about is prevention first. Every single product we created built by prevention. Because we believe prevention is more than more, is, is very important. Because when we see things back, we stop it. Otherwise, 
you need to spend a lot of time to remediate the issues. So that's why all the technology we create based on prevention. So now talking about people. Today, uh, here's some research from third party. Um, 62%, this is from IDC, 62% of companies is being attacked at least every week. And in an enterprise environment, if you look at the log, the alert in single day, over 10,000 alert a day they need to handle. But again, we don't have enough people to handle those security alerts. And 82% of employers report they have challenges to acquire talent to help them to operate the security. And last but not least, even though we have the people, how about the skill sets? They have strong skill sets on incident detections and response. So, when people get hacked, we get panic. They want to understand why. Why me first? How to get in? How to key in? This is um, why we know, because we have the incident response team globally. Um, one of the uh, team members told me, um, when customers call them, they are not only the uh, expert to help them to handle the incident. They are also a psychological counselor. They need to calm down the customer. Because when they get hacked, they get panicked. They will um, like follow a lot of questions and then uh, ask a lot of ridiculous uh, requests. So that's why when we employ incident response analysts, not only skills that we're looking at, we're looking at the EQ. Because in handling customer panic, we need high EQ. So, how we can avoid um, getting panic when incidents happen? First of all, we need someone can help you. So this is why we, we formalize a team uh, called Checkpoint Incident Response Team. Uh, here is the number and also the email address. Um, of course, I don't, I don't want you to call, me, call us because when you call us, it means that you're being hacked. But from business-wide, if you got issue, call us, we can help. So how to engage our incident response team is very easy. So first of all, pick up the phone, call the number. We have someone to answer your call. Basically, in 30 minutes, one, uh, someone available, it will help you to establish the connection uh, to be more sections. And then they will start to help you to identify the incident, perform analysis, including, for example, malware analysis, um, a lot of things that we can do and then provide you the uh, action plan to remediate the problem. Um, so, is this something that um, the customer must be a checkpoint customer, can call our incident response team? The answer is no. As long as you get hacked, you can call checkpoint response team. We will provide the first hour fee consultancy. So we provide you the suggestions. If you think it's, it's help, if you want our incident response team to get involved to the incident, then they will provide you the scope of work with the course. So then you can, using our incident response team to help you to remediate the issue. And what our incident response team focus, there's three things we focus. The first thing is not only handling incident. We help you to prepare for the incident. What are we preparing? First, first of all, the, the process, the paybook. How do you respond to the attack? We help you to create your paybook based on your environment. And we also provide training. The training is not only for the technical people, it's also for the other people in the company, like a business owner. The reason why is when incidents happen, the responsibility is not only IT guy. Sometimes we need to involve PR, HR, finance people. So the training we provide is actually educate every single one in the company when incident happen. What is their responsibility? How do they react to the incident? How do they react when things happen? And second, of course, handling incident. When incident happen, we engage, 
we step in, we help you to identify the attack, how did they get in, and then we help you to contain the incident and resume the business. And last but not least, protecting our customer, of course. Um, because Checkpoint, we have, not, we have a lot of technologies. Sometimes, uh, for example, give you one example, like happened last year. One of the, the customer is not Checkpoint customer. Um, they have a uh, ransomware attack. They call our incident response team. We get involved. Our incident response team help them to install our EDR agent on top of all their machine to help them to identify um, any infected machine in the network. And of course, the agent itself can help them to stop the ransomware in case it's happened and also help them to restore the data if encryption uh, happened again as well. So, talk about the process. A lot of times when we talk about, uh, we ask customer, do, do you have a process to respond to the incident? Most of the time, they don't. So that's why, uh, first thing, I encourage every one of you, if you don't have the process, start thinking about the process. But another common mistake is, um, one example is we help the customer to create the payable, the user response plan. And then the customer keep asking us to add more process into the process. What happened? A few months back, when it happened, their guy, they don't know how to follow the payable because it's too complex. So another uh, idea is keep it simple, right? Because if the pen cannot be followed by people, it's useless. So that's why we have the customer to PA their incident response pen as simple as possible so that their guy can follow the pen to respond to incidents. Here's the full list of the service that we provided from our incident response team. Uh, basically, we follow the NIST framework, uh, starting from the uh, preparations um, before the incident. As I said, we provide the paper development, table to exercise, training. And we can also help the customer to do compromise assessments. Like last year, solving attack. In US, a couple of customers asked our incident response team to help them to do compromise assessments to identify where they have infected um, machine in the network. So this is one of the services we can provide. Uh, other things like um, maturity in assessment, building their fast intelligence. And during the incident, uh, of course, we engage, we help the customer to do malware analysis and uh, identify the compromised endpoint, um, also um, to analyze their log in the environment. Not only checkpoint log. If the customer authorizes our instrument to access their log from other systems, we can access all the log to help them to identify the incident. And finally, when incident being resolved, next step is we provide the customer the suggestions how to improve their security to handle the attack in the future, for example. So one case study. Um, this is uh, one of the case study um, from our incident response team. It's, happening, uh, it's actually happening in the US. A company uh, is a retail company. Uh, during, the, during the incident, they have uh, 500 retail stop, uh, stop operate at the time. Uh, because all of their post system getting high CPU. And at the same time, they got DOS attack. Not only the endpoint device being hacked, at the same time, the network is being um, fought by the uh, volumetric DOS attack. And also, um, there is another malicious email getting in to the user mailbox, and then um, it spread the entire environment uh, using the uh, credential on each machine, and then the attacker can able to access all the data in the, in, in the environment using SSH, um, using the level share and FTP and, and such. When our incident responding get involved, first of all, we help them to identify and contain the threat. And we help the customer to minimize the outage to one week. And also, we send engine on site to help them to install our endpoint 
to all the Ample machines because we don't know if there is any like a hidden malware within the environment. So we install the agents. We help them to uh, prevent if once um, age endpoint is uh, the malware is getting executed, so that our endpoint can stop the malware. And we also can collect all the uh, telemetry data from the endpoint machine, so that we provide the customer the visibility on, on what happening in the environment. And of course, we also in, implemented some network sensor to help them to monitor the level as well, not only the endpoint. So our goal uh, is very simple. First of all, based on our technology, we want to provide the customer a single platform to protect the environment. Combined with our incident response services, we want we have the customer to work on the incident response plan so that they have a consistent um, step to respond to the incident. And we help them to reduce alert uh, based on the fine tuning of their security policy. And last but not least, we have the customer to focusing on their business. Okay, thank you very much.